What a fantastic thrill and unexpected delight it is to uh, be awarded the Gerdner Whiteman Award. Uh, when I look at those who've preceded me, I stand in awe. These are the people who have been my role models, my heroes, uh, uh, people who've really paved the way and to whom I've looked up to and from whom I've learned so much. People like uh, Cal Stiller, uh, Lou Semenovich, John Evans, Alan Bernstein, Henry Friesen. These are the giants and I really don't put myself uh, uh, with them on the same team. But I feel enormous debt to them and to many others in the country from whom I've learned so much. Um, and in African terms, uh, what the one way to repay that debt is to continue to add to the stream of life by adding knowledge to the common fund. And that's what I've had the privilege to do here in Canada. I realize that um, as a physician scientist, I'm very aware of the unusual chances and opportunities that have been afforded to me. And I recognize that uh, this prize and uh, my own success is built on the struggles, uh, the work, the aspirations, the hopes of many, many others around me. These include my students, my postdocs, uh, my colleagues, my dear colleagues across this country, uh, and importantly, my colleagues in industry, in the biotech industry, uh, who have worked with me to translate some of these important discoveries into products and services for patients. For me, it's not enough to end at the bedside uh, in the lab laboratory. It's really important to translate these. And I've been able to work with people who've believed in these dreams, who've supported them, uh, and helped me uh, translate some of these things so that they're useful for patients. And we can do it here. We can do it here in Canada and I look forward to continuing on this path. This is just a pit stop. Uh, we've got a lot more work to do.